people a drink. Got her own, thanks. The point to set you up better for the weekend. I don't accept drinks from strangers. Mark O'Donoghue, County Wexford. Maggie Moore, this is... Luke. Are you two, uh, with each other, like? Don't worry, you have a clear feel. She's my sister. Now we've got the formalities over. What about that drink? I'll have half a pint of what you're having. Yourself? An orange juice. I have a point. Alcohol does nothing for me. You were supposed to wait till I say. I thought you were keen. Call me if you like. When? Next Friday, 7.30 here. What well, we do? You choose. I like the pictures, but I'm not fuzzy. Pictures it is, then. Half seven. Mm. And don't be late. I don't like to stand out in the open like an idiot. I won't be late. Definition of luxury must have changed since I was a boy. I'm a fair man, Luke. Credit where it's due. It might have taken me a while to see the light without your prompting. I'm making you my sites manager. You'll get a good salary and a flat of your own rent free. What do you say? I want a partnership. I'm not asking for 50-50, but I want a fair percentage of net profit on every property I acquire for the company. And I want my name on the note paper. And why would I give you all that? Because you'll end up richer that way. And if I say no? Then I'll be obliged to look for another position. Mr. Simpson. yourself a skirt next. I should trouser are handier. Well, if you do something useful like carrots or parsnips, it'll make some sense. They're nice to look at. 
Looking won't get you far in this world. These girls will be worn out with so much study. We're just going over something for the exam, Daddy. Mathematics, is it? I was in eighth class in mine. We were all good, but I was the best in maths. You couldn't go further than the eighth class without going on to be a priest. Even if you had the money? Oh, no one had money. I left and the troubles started. But all the others went on to be priests. Strange to this day, I never met a priest who wasn't afraid to die. I could never make head nor tail of that. Flew in the face of everything. If it had been a different time, you'd have been a doctor or an engineer. <laughs> I wouldn't have been a doctor. These girls will all be gone soon, Rose. There'll be just us old ones left. And it won't take you long to forget your old daddy. We'd never do that. He has a lot of other properties to look at. 15,000 is the best I can do. If you have enough of the size of that on the table, I suggest you take it as quickly as possible, because whoever made it won't be in business for long. I wouldn't turn me nose up at 15,000. <laughs> this is quite a place you have here, Luke. It's only a question of seeing a chance and working at it. Daddy would be proud to see the way you set yourself up. He asks after you in his letters. He won't say it, but it's plain enough he wants you to go home. I won't go home. What happened? It's all ancient history now. Isn't it about time to live and let live? It wouldn't work. You could try, couldn't you? There'd be no point. What shall I tell them when I go back home? Tell them... Whatever you want. Shall we have that drink then? Luke, what do you think of Mark O'Donoghue? He's all right. Do you like him? Yeah, he's fine by me. I think Maggie will look different. Why would she? I don't know. I just thought that she might have changed. Oh, she hasn't. <laughs> Daddy said he never met a doctor who wasn't rich. What will you do if you don't get the scholarship? Sister Oliver thinks I will. She's not the one taking the exam. I think I'll kill myself if I don't get the results. Okay, it'll be all right. Anyway, there's always the civil service. Any fool can go for that. <laughs> Thanks very much. I can hear a car. Rose! They're here! <laughs> What's London now? Oh, it's a great place. It's so big. And there's so much to see. I always thought Glasgow was big. People say Glasgow is nothing to London. London's all right. But it's not home. Ah, there's nowhere like home. How's Luke, Maggie? He's just the same. <sighs> Do you ever see the Ryan girls from Ballymote? They're working on the next ward to me. 
Oh, the girls at the hostel are great. There's usually a dance on a Saturday night. <laughs> Look at my dress. <laughs> so you do see that brother of yours? I do. But not that much. What do you mean, not that much? We go to the pictures sometimes. Have you seen any good ones? Oh, Michael, I saw this. How does he look? He looks fine. He looks no different from when he was here. Did you say when you wrote that he was in with some cockney riffraff? It's to do with converting old houses. Seems to have plenty of money. You can tell the class of person his lordship would meet up with in the building game. All blow up in his face one of these days. Does he ask about us at all? He asks if there's any news. Does he ever talk about coming home? No. Does he not send word to anybody when he knew you were coming home? Oh, yes. He sent word. He wished everybody the best. I'm not trying to get news from anybody in this house. It's like trying to extract teeth. I told you everything. Now, Daddy Maggie doesn't know anything else. Did you ever listen to yourself carefully, Rose? Because I think if you listened a little more carefully to yourself, you might talk an awful lot less. I was only saying Maggie's told us everything that she knows. What in the name of the Saviour do you know about it? Why do you have to put your ignorance on full display? Daddy didn't mean any harm. None of us are all that good, and these things can be taken too seriously. Mm -hmm.